Hello everyone, welcome to episode number 4 of my Zelda Mr. of Solaris video guide. And here are some new guys. They are not very dangerous, don't worry. So, second dungeon. First, you should always lift every pot, even if there is nothing in this particular case. Ten arrows. So, we push that button, open this door, but we don't have time, even without this monster. It's impossible. It's impossible for now. So we'll come back later. Okay, let's go this way. Change that, sh that switch and use this bomb flower to get t to the other side. Like this. Find this chest. Um, we can go there. I told you to, to take all the pots because there is always um, stuff like switches, uh, you don't know, keys or rupees. Everything. Both eyes must be pierced. It's a hint for another room. You found five arrows. Great. Okay, let's jump here. Here is a small key. Okay, now um, the goal is to go up those stairs and meet this skeleton. And to do this, um, first change the switch like I just did, and then shoot an arrow and go to the left, to the right, sorry, <laughs> like that. Ta da! You see? Okay, and we have a small key. Let's see those stairs. You found the map! Use it to see to see the dungeon's layout. Okay, so we have two floors. And another another error. Okay, so there is a piece of heart here. How can you get it? There is a small, a tiny maze below this platform. But if you observe carefully, you see that when you go this way, you have the blue icon on the left of the screen pick up. So there is a pot here. You can lift it. You arrive, you arrive here, and you can take the piece of heart. Collect four pieces to obtain a new heart. And small key number three. So, let's use our small keys. One small key. Two keys and three keys. Okay. And now you should remember both eyes must be pierced. So one and two. Ta da 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 da. Stairs. 
have secret stairs. Okay, here is a very interesting room. First, the compass. Now you can see the position on the map, the locations of chests, as well as the boss's lair. Now we're getting somewhere. And more arrows. Okay, what can we do from here? There is a crystal switch there. Second hint, both eyes must be pierced with perseverance. So, let's go back, because it means that we have to, to pierce them again, like a second time. And another secret door, which leads to the large key. You can now open special doors and find new treasures. That's nice. So we have to kill those guys again. So, how can we go past this room? You have to shoot an arrow from here, because there is a crystal switch. And ta-da! However, we cannot access this big chest for now. Okay, let's continue. So we have six switches. And we don't know how to solve this puzzle because we don't know the right order but it doesn't matter for now oh fairy and more hearts so what come next what comes next is the mini boss. Hello, you. Oh. So you can kill him with arrows, with pots, or even with your sword, but it's very small, more dangerous. Okay. You found the Pegasus shoes. Run and charge through the toughest enemies. Press and hold the action key to use them. Like this. So you don't have to assign them to your inven inventory. You can do this, of course. And press. I'm pressing the V button. But it's not necessary. You can just press the action key, which is space by default. Okay, um, let's go, let's go there. And now that you have the Pegasus shoes, you can get through this. Shoot an arrow and just run! Ta -da -da -da! You found the big wallet! So yes, there are two big chests in this dungeon. And now you can hold up to 300 rupees.
Um, let's go back to the first floor now. Because we can solve the very first puzzle. I mean, the, the puzzle in the very first room. Because now we can run. But I'm sure you already figured it out. Okay, first let's, let's change this. And let's run. So easy with the with the Pegasus shoes. Twenty rupees. Okay, so here is mm, one of the last puzzles of this dungeon. Uh, okay, the goal is to reach this hole. Oh, sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to shoot an arrow. And to go to this hole, we first need to make an access to the crystal switch. So there are, there are several ways to do this. I'm show me, showing you what I think is the simplest one. Okay, it's done. We just had to move the the statues. Boss door. But we don't have the boss key, we only have the large key. And it's different. F B E C D A. So it's the code. And we're gonna have to input the code. And that means pressing the six buttons in alphabetical order. Here we are. So A, B, C, D, E, F. And what do we find? What do we find in this chest? Of course, the boss key. Okay, back again to the first floor. Hmm, let's... No. It's okay, I will find errors later. And we will need arrows for the boss. Oh, some money. We just lost one rupee. Never mind. Okay, so we have to do this puzzle a second time. And now we are ready for the boss. Hmm, no more music. What's gonna happen? Oh, hi! Okay, so... He's shooting flames to us, and you have to oh, not do that actually. <laughs> you have to shoot arrows like this. 
And you can get more arrows on this on the platform. The platform that goes away when you work on it. But if you run, it should be okay. Hmm. Okay, it's done. Nice. You found a hot container. Chris, thank you. You saved my life. I'm one of the eight protectors called forth by Princess Zelda to watch over the Triforce. Using the power of the Solaris Amulet, a relic worn by Princess Zelda is the only way to restore the Triforce. We have shattered it into eight pieces hidden across the kingdom. We are here to guard the eight fragments as Delda watches over the Solaris amulet. It must not fall into the wrong hands. We trust your courage. May the hero bring peace and prosperity to the kingdom. Okay. Dun second dungeon finished. Good. So I'm gonna cut the video here. Um, thank you for watching, guys, and see you for the next episode. Bye bye.